Hi, this is Tim from Total Lockout. Preparing this little video here today to show you locking devices for needle valves uh, and how the lock fits onto the valve. Now, some of you will be familiar with this uh, this earlier design of uh, needle valve lock, and um, this has served as well as a as a, as a good product. Um, but its fundamental weakness was the key. Uh, it uses a plastic bodied uh, coded magnet key. Uh, when you insert the key, it repels another magnet on the inside of the lock. And um, the problem there is you, you, there's only eight unique codes. And we regularly regularly used to get asked, um, I need I need more I need more unique uh, locks. So there was this requirement for lots and lots of uh, unique key codes. And so uh, with that thought in mind, we set about developing a new lock, uh, which you can see here. And this one uses uh, what they call a radial pin tumbler uh, mechanical key lock. And the nature of this design of lock is that the, uh, the number of unique key permutations are, is very, very high. Uh, running into the tens of thousands, so um, the potential for having many, many of these locks on site, all opening with a unique key, uh, is now good. Uh, at the same time, um, customers who prefer uh, a suite of locks which all open with the same key, in other words, key to like, that is also possible. Uh, the body construction is uh, glass filled nylon, uh, comes with a little label here, and um, I'm going to show you now how it fits onto the valve. So um, here's a typical needle valve. The uh, first thing you need to do is remove the remove the lever or the operating handle, and um, I've got a little Allen key here. All prepared to do that. Sometimes different manufacturers of valve uh, secure their handle or their knob. Sometimes it's a knob onto the valve in different ways. Uh, this one is just a little socket Allen screw up the hole here. So we can uh, loosen that screw and the handle lifts off. That's now surplus to requirement and discarded. You can see on the end of this valve stem there's this flat here and we're going to use that surface, that surface there, uh, to drive. And to do that we need an adapter. So here's the adapter. Uh, the adapter uh, has the hole in the middle which is um, uh, machined in size to match the, the stem of the valve and then you can see a little uh, set screw here, a little socket grub screw uh, which will be used to clamp it onto the, uh, the valve stem. Now uh, what we find is many different valves from different manufacturers have different size of stem so we can offer a different adapter uh, with a different hole size uh, to suit your valve. The uh, biggest size you want to go up to really is around about 8 millimeters, 5 sixteenths of an inch. If the valve stem is much bigger than that, it, it tends to hint that the torque required to turn the valve is that bit higher and maybe beyond the operational uh, functionality of this locking device. So here you go with the, uh, the lever removed, we can put the adapter on the stem. It's important to line the, uh, the socket grub screw up. Uh, with the face, uh, the flat face on the stem here, so that as the screw comes through, it, it, it bites onto that surface. So I'm going to use this Allen key here, push the adapter down till the stem is just starting to come flush with the top of the adapter, and now we can tighten the tighten the grub screw up, and you can see now that's gripping down, making a nice firm uh, fix on the on the drive stem. The underside of the needle valve lock, you can just about see it has a little barb here and that's designed to latch underneath uh, this edge of the, uh, of the adapter. So really fitting it is just a case of lining up the hexagon on the adapter with the hexagon on the underside here and pushing that down until that barb that I showed you snaps underneath. And there we go, that's it, that's on now. So the lock is on now. Um, the key's not in it, which implies that the device is locked. And in fact, with the lock out, with, sorry, with the, with the key removed, the locking head 
is just freewheeling. That's not turning the valve, it's just spinning. When you put the key in and turn it, that engages the drive. You can see it's 90 degree movement there. So 90 degrees until it stops. And now that's engaged the drive. In fact, this valve is in the fully closed position, but what it does mean is now I can rotate anti-clockwise and start to open the valve. At any point in the operation of the valve, you can take out the key and that just disengages the drive again. And once again, that's locked and spinning. And that's not turning the valve. To carry on opening the valve, just pop the key back in there. You can see it's a little tighter now. That's the turning of the valve action. And in a few moments, we'll reach the fully open position of this valve. And you'll be aware of that because it will just become to a stop. There we go, that's stopped turning now. And so that valve's now fully open. Take out the key, and once again, that will spin. That won't, that won't turn or operate the valve. So there we have it. Needle valve locking device from Total Lockout, suitable for most types and manufacturers of uh, small instrument valves and needle valves. Thanks for watching.